Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back once again with the Flying Bear Laser Man Laser Cutter. Friends, today we're going to connect it to Lightburn and do our first cut. So let's get cracking. Friends, we're going to start on my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a tab dedicated to lasers. And then right over here, I've got the full list of videos for the Laser Man, the website, and also the setup folder. Inside this folder, we have useful things like the manuals, the drivers, and then what I need right now is the engraving software. Double click to enter that folder, and then I'm also going to double click to enter the light burn folder. This is the laser definition file, and I'm going to click these three dots and choose download to put it in my downloads folder. With it there, I'm going to simply hit save. And it is time for us to minimize that, find light burn, and launch it. After a moment, light burn will load, and we need to move over to devices, and we need to import a brand new device definition. Of course, we stored that in our downloads folder, or wherever you chose, we can click it, and then choose open, and just like that, the laser man has been added to light burn. All right, friends, if you've never seen this before, these are insulation hangers. I have got them screwed in, and then I can just bring them out into this area, and they hold the cardboard down exactly where I want. I cut a ton of my projects out of cardboard. I find this to be super slick. Friends, before we get to the next spot, I want to show you on the lasers page. Check it out. I am giving you the tiny jet. This is the project I'm going to be showing you in the next few steps, and you can have it for free. Let's grab one of my favorite projects by doing File, Import, and then in my 3D modeling folder, and this is what you could have downloaded a moment ago, we're going to search for the jet. And so in that folder, there was a tiny jet and a launcher. You can see those are the launchers. We are going to use the tiny jet SVG and hit Open. I'm going to work with the project right here. It is a cute little cardboard jet that when we're done, we can assemble it and we can actually launch it with the launcher that is the second file. If we move to cuts and layers, I'm going to use number two. I'm going to take this 420 and I'm going to change it to 400 just because it's the first time I've used this laser. I'm going to keep the pass count set at one and I'm going to use 100% power. With that in place, I do want to double check and make sure I'm on current position. That switches depending on which laser I'm using. In the move command, if you hold shift, it moves 10 times as far. I'm moving this out so that you've got a better view of the laser cutting. We do need to set the height. This is one of my favorite features that our height adjustment is sitting right there ready to be used. We also have one knob to adjust it, get it so that we like it. I'm going to bring my cardboard wire back here so it's more in the front. Right here, I should have hit frame to test this, but I've made this jet so much I knew that it was going to fit. But you really should hit frame before you cut the laser loose. Of course, friends, I'm going to grab my safety glasses and let's make something magical. All right, everybody, so let's see what we made if we slide this out of here. You can see this is the central wing. 
tail fin popped out and the fuselage is good as well let me show you quickly how this assembles uh, this wing is almost the exact size so you put it in at an angle once you get it slid to the middle it's got those grooves and that allows you to slide it forward and backward so you can find the correct place to put it so you've got the maximum lift and stability when you've got it where you want then you just tape it in place so that it stays that way it's completely adjustable do the same thing for the tail fin of course you can just glue this in because it's permanent but I will tape it today and there you can see my tail fin is taped into place alright everybody so as you can see lovely spring day this is the launcher it is a free file as well I just had mine built already and we simply hook the rubber band like this and then make sure you grab the vertical stabilizer and you can launch your awesome jet how cool is that just because it's so darn fun let's launch it again try for a little bit more up this time and that's a blast all right everybody so let's review quick that was our first cut with the laser man it did an absolutely fantastic job of course this is a free file you can find on my website both the jet and the launcher and then all you need is a rubber band and some clay and a little tape to start having fun friends of course make sure you stay tuned because there will be a lot more projects coming up and if you're looking for more information you can always check the links down below finally friends if you enjoyed the video please give it a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about hl mod tech don't forget friends you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.